Hello again viewers, Belfast International Airport, I did not expect to land here, <laughs> just circumstances, in case you're wondering, a pint of Heineken, £5.75, there's the prices, Magnus, £5.69, now, although that is expensive for an airport, I've had worse, remember my £7 pint in Presswick, it's just after 1 in the morning, I think it's about one twenty. I've just landed from Malaga, brilliant flight, um, with EasyJet. Hadn't slept for like 48 hours, so I actually fell asleep in the flight, which I never do. And I literally woke up just as I were about to land, and then the landing was amazing. You couldn't even feel it, like bumping on the runway. So, well done to the pilot, EasyJet. There's the arrivals coming in, one of my favourite places, Tenerife. A wee bit delayed, estimated. 210. Very strange to have an airport all to yourself. I need to wait here till 3.40 for the first bus to get into the city centre. It's over £40 in a taxi. I think it's maybe 18 or 20 miles away. So, speaking to a couple of guys that work for the clearing company, um, <laughs> quite funny actually, um, and they actually helped me out. I went to show you. That's where you get your car hire over there. It's very strange. Lived in the airport for the day. I mean, I spent the whole day in the airport because the Ryanair flight was cancelled. I was messing about the whole day trying to get connecting flights all over Europe because my legs sore and I couldn't really do any more videos, so I just had to get home. Um, now, there's a wee story here, viewers. If you come back here for any reason and you don't have UK plugs, just you've just got Spanish um, chargers. They've got USB leads down here. They don't all work, but this one over in the corner works. So if you come in to be cafe, I'll show you where it is. That one there works okay. I just took my phone out to this video. And I also, can you believe it, after everything, I found this UK plug at the bottom of my rucksack. I can't believe it. Remember in Gibraltar, I went out for the day and I was doing videos and I brought, I brought the wrong chargers. Now, to be fair, it wouldn't have made any difference because... I'd left the charger over the border in my rucksack but I did actually have a UK plug with me, I never realised it so another mishap, another adventure so information here on the bus is £8 now wait I'll show you something that's probably not used by many people maybe people who work here are going to the city centre but I doubt it, they'll get, they'll get discounts off this anyway it's quite expensive the bus £8 in the city centre. If you want to connect to the other airport, which I'm doing, um, Belfast City, I'm flying to Glasgow at 9.40 in the morning, so I've got eight hours till the next flight. Now, you get a return for 11 50 but who's getting a return to an airport? You're usually leaving an airport or heading out to it, aren't you? Don't know what time W Smith opens. I'm only going to be here to 3 40 till the first bus comes, then I'm going to the city centre. And then the airport, I think, is three miles from there. So I'll probably jump in a taxi. I don't know how much that'll be. Maybe a ten or maybe, I don't know. Or a car hire place. So, yep. I mentioned it in another video. I do feel that like Tom Hanks lived in the airport the last 24 hours. <laughs> you ever seen that film? It's a, what's it called? The Terminal? It's amazing how they made a film of that. How, how you could even stretch out a film about a guy living in an airport. Quite interesting, but um, so quite a few flights come in here, but they all come in quite late at night, as far as I can see. Obviously, we're on the doing flights, so I just thought I'd show you a wee bit of the airport. A lot of car hire places you go through there for your luggage collection, check in international arrivals. Okay, if you're looking for a job and you're in Belfast. £500 joining bonus for summer jobs. Not bad, eh? That's the wee cafe I'm located in here. There is a quiet room just round the corner here on the right hand side. So, if you want to get away from any noise and everything, I'm in the room. I won't go right in because somebody's sleeping in the room. Um, I don't know whether I'm in the same situation as me. 
or it could be, could unfortunately it could be somebody who lives around about here, maybe just doesn't have somewhere to sleep. So I'll leave them al alone. We head round that way. Seventy destinations from here, as it says. So how strange is it to be walking about an airport with no dinner? The next light's coming in soon, but that's your way, your way out. That's the quiet room. You can see it advertised up there on the left hand side. You can get taxis and buses out there. There's also a couple of guys, I think, um, hanging about, and they're maybe, they might be offering people lifts in who don't want to get taxis, maybe it's cheaper. <laughs> um, they were really friendly to me. They, they tried to help me out with hotels and everything. They showed me a couple of hotel prices. But um, it's not worth it for me. I'm going to just stay here at the 3.40. Um, only places open in the city centre at this time. Half past one in the morning is the nightclubs. And I was in a nightclub last night and it didn't end well. <laughs> I still got the hangover from it, so I can't really go to another nightclub. Plus I need to drive in the morning. So no beer for me tonight. That's a meeting point if you're ever meeting friends or family here. You see, I'll meet you at the meeting point. There it's there. Business jet centre up there as well. A couple of wee vending machines if I wanted something to drink. Wouldn't have an issue. Collection point, shop and collect as well. Okay. I think that concludes the tour. If you're new to the channel, do me a wee favour. If you're interested in new videos, I'm mostly walking about sunny destinations, but I do a couple of airport videos. Whenever I'm in an airport, I try and show you what's in the airport. And this is basically what's in this airport. Hit the wee button that says subscribe. It does not cost a penny. That's the good news. If you've just, if you've not already joined the channel. And if you want, give it a wee thumbs up if you find it useful. And let me know any Belfast um, viewers on the channel. I know there is. You're watching, Bill. Um, there are quite a few Belfast um, viewers on the channel. I've spent a wee bit of time in Belfast in previous lives. David, if you're watching, remember the great times we had training for that job. I was staying at the Holiday Inn. <laughs> the job was Monday to Thursday training, out every night. <laughs> We'd ask the same question every day in the hotel. Go down to the bar and um, the restaurant we'll see what's the hotel allowance for the room <laughs> trying to figure out how much you could get for a, for a dinner ah good times good times in Belfast always find Belfast people really friendly there's a couple of great nights out in Belfast as well last time I was here it was just for one night before I went to Port Rush to watch open golf anyway I'm away for a pint of Heineken could just go in and help myself maybe um, probably CCTV not probably the best idea. Look at this, I've been to myself and I've found a couple of chargers as well. So it's all good, viewers. I'll let you know how I got on with the bus and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.